Hey guys, this is Dakman back with another video. Alright guys, for today we're going to have an addition to the new player guide series, which is a special request from a commenter, Wonder Woman 24 which on one of my recent videos, she asked if I could do an explanation on how to make an armory build and use it. I'm honestly not sure why I've never thought about making that video, but I'm glad Wonder Woman asked because I'm sure there are some questions about armories people might have, and maybe I can answer some of them. So let's go ahead and go over all things armory. If you haven't gotten into armories yet, their basic function is to allow you to change your character build on the fly without having to go back to one of the hubs and respec your skill points, go into the menu and change your loadout, stop and swap equipment, or change any of your preferred styles. And that's pretty much the 10,000 foot view, but we'll dig more into the details as we go. So your first look at an armory comes during your leveling missions and it's integrated into your base tutorial. Now during that mission set, you're given an armory and asked to set a loadout to it, which really doesn't teach you a lot about the armory, and frankly only one armory isn't that helpful. The reason for that is each armory represents one character build, and once you change that loadout, you have to have another armory to go back to what you were doing before. So if you were DPSing and you have your role set up in your armory that you're going to switch to, you will need another armory with the DPS spec you were using to switch back to. And yes, that does mean if you want to use armories, you need to buy at least one. So let's move on to using an armory. So the first step is to place it. Now, armories are like any other base item, so you can place them anywhere in your base, providing you've placed the 20 items to open up free placement. If for some reason you haven't, you can place them on any blue circle. Also, if you want to move your base, but we're afraid you'd have to rebuild all your armory builds, that's not an issue. Once you place your armories, you'll be able to select from any build that you've already saved and you can place them in any armory you would like. Alright, let's move on to imprinting a build. So to imprint a build in the armory, you need to make sure you have the title, the gear, artifacts, augments, allies, and trinkets that you want equipped, as well as your skill points equipped however you want them, and then your loadout set to your liking. Now from this point, you can imprint one of a few ways. You can, of course, imprint everything at once, which you will do, obviously, on your first armory build. You could, of course, just imprint the appearance if you had a look that you wanted to put on another loadout. You can also just imprint your traits and loadouts, which traits are your skill points. Loadout is self-explanatory, and it also covers which role you're in. You could also just imprint your equipment, which would imprint your gear, artifacts, augments, trinkets, allies, and all that stuff. Or you could just imprint your title if you want to change that. You can also do the reverse just as easily and activate any of those same things. I will say that the ability to individually activate and imprint are things that I typically use with the next part of using armories. Now to this point, we've really only spoken about having two armories, the one that you're given and the one that you need to buy. However, you're not limited to two. In fact, you're able to have up to 16 on one character, but you can only have four active at any one point. Now that takes us to dealing with multiple armories. Now here you can see that I have more than four. I actually have eight. I have four regular and then two that I use during the Halloween event and two that I use during the Christmas event. Now for me, they're basic style changers, but you can use them to carry several types of loadout if you want to. You could actually have 16 different DPS builds if you wanted to have that many options for DPS without having to respec everything. But just remember you can only use four at one time. To switch them, you simply go to your generator and select which armory you want to swap out and which armory you want to swap to. Alright guys, we're almost there, so now let's talk about actually using them. So, with a controller, you simply hold the left and right triggers at the same time and then the directional pad to select which loadout you want to use. If you're using a mouse and keyboard, just use your arrow keys to make the switch. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you will see that a yellow cooldown timer starts once you swap armory, so there is a few second delay before you're allowed to swap again. Now this is for when you're not in combat. The rules change significantly when you're in a fight. Now let's say you're in a raid boss fight where the healer goes down and didn't revive, and you being the awesome team player that you are, decide to switch to your healer loadout. Once you make that switch to the healer loadout, you will see a red countdown timer beside the yellow one, and it lasts for 10 minutes. While this countdown timer is in effect, you cannot change loadouts while in combat. Outside of combat, you can change it again, so once the fight's finished, you could swap back, but until the 10 minute timer runs out, anytime you enter combat, you will be stuck in whatever loadout you were in when the combat started. And guys, that's pretty much everything I can think of surrounding armories. If there's any other basic system you'd like a little more explanation on how to use, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can get to it. Guys, appreciate you watching. I will talk to you in the next video.
Guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video, and if you liked what you saw, head down and leave me a like and a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, that option should be available on the screen, along with a couple of options if you want to see any more of my content. You can also follow me on Twitter at DAC underscore Mangamer if you want to connect with me there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.